All right, so this is going to be a video all about Python lists. And a list is exactly how it sounds, actually. It's just basically a, I'm going to write this down. List is basically an ordered sequence of elements. Okay, an element is just an individual value in a list and is assigned an index. Now, index, indices, and lists are the same as how it works with strings. So it actually starts at zero, so zero based indexing. So the first thing in the the first thing in a list would be have an index of zero. The second thing would actually have an index of one. So it can be a little bit tricky. So let's say we had a list and it is equal to one, two. So the elements are one, two, three, four, and five. <clears throat> so from here, I'm going to print the list, and what you should see when it prints is one, two, three, four, five. Awesome. But say you wanted to print an individual element of the list. So I can do print uh, the zeroth element, which is going to be a one. So it's still going to print out that first list, and then it's going to print out that first element. And I can change this to the second element or the third element. doesn't really matter. And it's going to output over here eventually. It's a four. So it's zero, one, two, three. So then a four gets dropped out of there. Okay, um, <clears throat> another thing you can do is you can print parts of the list, kind of like a substring. So say I wanted to print, I don't know, between one and three, elements one and three. I can use a colon similar to strings. Uh-oh, it's yelling at me. Now the reason it's yelling at me is because really I should have had brackets here. That's embarrassing. So let's run this really quick and it should work. Boom. Okay, now if you notice it went from one to three, but it didn't actually include three. Okay, so it included two and three because it goes zero for the for the one, and then two, zero and then one, and then two here. It did not include the four, so it just did two and three as the output over here. Okay, it is important to notice it's just like strings. It doesn't actually include that last thing. And if you want, you could print everything up to a certain value. You just leave the first one blank and then put a three in there. Okay, here it printed one, two, and three. So instead of two and three, it printed, if you notice, I left it blank right here. It's the same thing as if I put a zero in here and ran it. It's just a little bit of a shortcut, I guess. And then another thing you can do is you can print from some index to the end. So say I wanted to print from the second index to the end, I can just leave the second part blank there and then run this. And then it goes three, four, five. So it goes from the second index, so zero, one, two, which is three, and then to the end, so three, four, five. Okay. Another thing you can do with lists is you can change the values of particular elements. So say I want that first index value, which is a two, say I want it to be equal to one. I can run this here, and then if I reprint the list, you'll see it goes one, instead of one, two, three, four, five in the original, it does one, one, three, four, five. Okay. Another thing you can do is you can print the length of a list. Sometimes handy for algorithms. Okay, it says it output a five right here. If you notice the length is five, there are five elements in it. So LEN, that keyword LEN will actually output the number of elements in the list. <clears throat> also known as the length of the list. For lists, you can append or add on certain values. So say it's one, one, three, four, five. Let's add a six at the end of it. And then I have to print like always. Okay, so it's gonna print one, one, three, four, five, and then there's a six, so it appended that in there. Another thing you can do is insert. So if I wanted to, I can insert in at a certain index of the list. So if you notice right there for append, it just added it to the end. We'll say I wanted to add something to the index where index two is, and I wanted to add a seven to the list. Okay, print list, run it. So now it's one, one, seven, three, four, five, six. It didn't get rid of anything. It just, the second index, which was a three, it just replaced it with a seven or inserted a seven there and moved everything else down. So that's insert. Uh, another one that we're gonna be using a lot is remove. 
Okay, this actually removes specific values. Like, so say I wanted to remove a one. There are two ones. It's going to get rid of the first instance. So it removes first instance of that one happening. So hopefully it's one, seven, three, four, five, six. There it is. It gets rid of the one in between those two. All right, and the last thing I'm going to show you is that, like, say I had another list. Let's just call it list two. And let's just do... Um, a, I'm going to put strings in here just for fun, A, B, and C. What you can do with lists is, say I make list three here, I can actually add list plus list two, and then I'm going to print list three here, and it should join the list of one, seven, three, four, five, six with an A, B, C at the end of it as a string. Let's check it out, and there you go. So one, seven, three, four, five, six, and then there's an ABC at the end of it. So that's basically just a brief intro to Python lists. If you have any questions about anything in this video, let me know.